Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. I told you, I just saw him. He marked fire like he was on a mission. Yeah, the Spectres are always on a mission. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. 
I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got us back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two.
This place got hit hard, man. Hostiles everywhere. Negative contacts, Commander. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, ma'am. Got him. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. 
The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! The beacon's at the far end of this trench. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them?
door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time till we did something crazy, and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. 